Hey folks, Nicholas Field here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a basic private line for communicating with your sound team on set. I'll be discussing this mostly in the context of communicating with a boom operator, but this is also applicable if you wanna set up a line to an AD or director. The first half of this video covers how to set this up on a Sound Devices 633, and the second half of the video explores how to do this on a Zoom F8 series recorder. In either case, you're gonna need some sort of wireless transmitter and receiver to do this. I use a Sennheiser G4 system with my boom op and a Comtec system for the rest of the crew and for clients. There are also lots of other options available. Please like and subscribe this video. Let's go. So this is the right side of the 633. And as you can see, there are two TA3 outs labeled X1, X2. So we are going to plug our transmitter into the X1. Keep in mind that there are also XLR outs here and a 3.5 millimeter out on the other side of the recorder, so plenty of options to work with. Our transmitter is turned on and synced to the receiver. And if you don't know how to do this, check out my video on that. I'm adjusting the gain on my transmitter down to minus 27, and that's because the line level coming out of the 63 is pretty hot, so we don't need much gain. Next, let's take a look at the menu. We're going to enter the output settings and scroll down to TA3 X1 out and make sure that's set to line. And then we are going to go to X1 X2 routing. And here we want to make sure the boom that we are receiving on channel one is being sent to our boom op. You can choose any combination of channels to send to that output, but our boom op just wants to hear the boom. So we select one prefade. Why do we choose prefade? We do this so that no matter what I do with the faders, my boom op will have the same level on their boom feed. So if I ever have to mute the boom entirely on my mix, it won't impact their ability to work effectively. So now the boom mic transmission is doing a round trip, which I've illustrated here. Pretty fun. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is go back to the main menu and choose system, slate and tone routing. And here you're just gonna send that slate mic to X1 straight to your boom operator. To enable the slate mic on the 633, just hit this toggle switch. Now you have a cheeky private line to talk shit with your boom op. Just enable the slate mic when you want to banter. I mean, communicate important sound department information. Enjoy. So this is the right side of the F8N, and as you can see, there are two TA3 outs labeled main out one and two. So we're going to plug in our transmitter into the main out one. Keep in mind that there is also a 3.5 millimeter jack here, so you have a few options. Our transmitter is turned on and synced to the receiver. If you don't know how to do this, check out my video on that. I'm adjusting the gain on the transmitter down to negative 27, and that's because the line level coming out of the F8N is pretty hot, so we don't need much gain. Next, let's take a look at the menu. We're going to enter the output settings and scroll down to output level and make sure that's set to line. Then we are going to main out routing. And here we wanna make sure the boom that we are receiving on channel one is being sent to our boom op. You can choose any combination of channels to send to that output, but our boom op just wants to hear the boom. So we select one, prefade. Why do we choose prefade? We do this so that no matter what I do with the faders, my boom op will have the same level on their boom feed. So if I ever have to mute the boom entirely on my mix, it won't impact their ability to work effectively. So now the boom mic transmission is doing a round trip, which I've illustrated here. Pretty fun. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is go back to the main menu and choose slate, slate mic, routing. And here you're just gonna send that slate mic to M1 straight to your boom operator. Now you have a cheeky private line to talk shit with your boom op. To enable the slate mic on the F series recorders, just hit this toggle switch. On the zoom, make sure to untoggle it before recording. Just enable the slate mic when you want to banter. I mean, communicate important sound department information. Enjoy. All right, that's how you set up a private line of communication on the Sound Devices 633 and the Zoom F8 series recorders. If this video was helpful, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Peace.